Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on calculation of stress and Young's modulus. Let's have a question here. A metal rod 24 mm diameter and 2 meter long is subjected to an axial pull of 40 kN. If the elongation of the rod is 0.5 mm, find the stress induced and the value of Young's modulus. So this is the question we have. Whatever is here, I will write that in the form of data first. Now, here it is given, there is a metal rod 24 mm in diameter. So I'll write down D is equal to 24 mm. It is two meter long, length is given. We can convert this length and we have to convert it into mm. It's subjected to an axial pull of 40 kN. Load is given. So I am converting load also in terms of Newton by multiplying it by 1000. If the elongation of the rod is 0.5 mm, elongation means deflection denoted by delta L. Elongation is 0.5 mm. Find the stress induced and the value of Young's modulus. So the questions are, we have to calculate how much is the value of sigma that is stress induced and Young's modulus that is denoted by capital E. Now, for this question, I'll draw a diagram. Since it is given that there is a metal rod, so it will be circular in cross section. Now, here we have a metal rod. This is the axis of the rod. Next, this metal rod is having diameter small d. The length of this rod denoted by L. So, both the values d and L they have given. Next, it is subjected to an axial pull. So, on both the sides, we are having pull type of load. So here we have pull type of load on both the sides. And because of this pulling action, what will happen is the length will go on increasing and diameter will go on decreasing. This will be the change in shape of the rod. So when a rod is subjected to a pull type of load, its length increases and diameter decreases. So now the questions are to calculate stress in Young's modulus. So let us try to get the solution for this problem. In solution, first I will say that since cross section, cross sectional area of metal rod, it is denoted by capital A and this is equal to pi by 4 d square. So therefore, capital A is equal to pi by 4 into diameter is 24 square. So from this, I will get the answer of area as 452.39 mm square. After getting area, as the first question is to calculate stress, so I will use the formula of stress. That is, since stress induced 
in the metal rod sigma is equal to load upon area so therefore sigma it is equal to load is given in the problem as pull type having 40 into 10 raise to 3 newton area is 452.39 so from this i'll get the first answer and it is 88.42 newton per mm square this is the first answer next in the question they have mentioned we have to calculate young's modulus so for that first i'll get the value of strain so since strain is given by it is change in length upon original length so therefore strain is equal to change in length it is given as 0 0.5 original length it is 2000 so here strain comes out to be 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 and strain it doesn't have a unit next after this I can say that we had one formula from Hooke's law and that formula is Young's modulus is given by capital E it is equal to stress upon strain this has come from Hooke's law so therefore capital E is equal to stress I have got the answer as 88.42 strain 2.5 into 10 raise to minus 4 so therefore capital E it comes out to be 353.68 into 10 raise to 3 newton per mm square this will be the second answer so as we have seen in this video there were two questions to solve first to get the value of stress that is sigma we have calculated 88.42 newton per mm square and the second part was to calculate young's modulus this we have found out it is 353.68 into 10 raise to 3 newton per mm square and with this we complete the problem